Hi guys, it's Lohi and welcome to another video and what you're seeing right here is me sketching some random stuff because apparently people uh, like this sort of thing. Apparently people are interested how the works get created thus I decided to include this. I usually don't but this time I did. So what I do is that I sometimes just sketch totally random things and hope for an inspiration when I don't have one. Sometimes I just wait for it, sometimes I try to create it. This time I did create an inspiration and it felt really good. So I'll probably try to do it more as well, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, cracking my knuckles here. Mm. But yes, I decided to actually create an inspiration and construct work that you are seeing right here. Uh, I'm very happy with it since it has an actual theme, which is something I don't uh, always have. It's a little bit sad, but you know, I think it's still very, very nice. It, it's the sort of pe peaceful, sad, mellow kind of, kind of thing going on here. Maybe you guys will figure it out as we go forward, but um, yeah, it's also a little bit bigger picture than usual. If you look at my gallery, a uh, gallery. Well, you you look at my videos, you should have see that I tend to draw a little bit. Like, have sometimes I draw uh, more detailed illustrations, sometimes more simple stuff. And recently, I haven't really drawn a lot of detailed stuff because um, I had a lot of issues with my coloring. I didn't like it. I ended up dropping a lot of my works because of it, but this time, I, since I switched up my coloring a little bit, I figured out oh, what, what, what was wrong with my coloring and took a step to change it. Uh, I decided that, you know what, I'm actually going to give it a shot and draw something a little bit bigger, you know? And I'm really happy I, I did, but it's not something I would have done before because you know what's the point of drawing something big if you're just gonna drop the work because you're not happy how it's looking and I almost had the face in this work where I almost wanted to drop it but I got past it so it was really nice so I usually tend to have like this certain point in my art where I get super lost and I'm just don't know how to go forward and how it's like the work is ruined and I don't know how to save it. And that ends up happening with so many of my works. And it mildly, mildly happened in this one. Not in the, not so badly as usually, but mildly I got a little bit lost. But I was able to figure that out too, which was really gay. great. Gay. <laughs> it was really gay, you guys. It was really great. Glad I can speak today. It's a wonderful skill to have, I know. But yeah, and I did it by uh, actually merging down a few of the layers. Usually, when I do this kind of work, uh, bigger work, I start to get really conscious of like messing things up. Like I'm used to work with very, very, very few layers, but yet whenever I have like this type of big art, I suddenly get like so conscious that I just end up having like a tons of layers like every color essentially has to have a different layer but since I paint it makes controlling the work really really hard pretty much impossible and that causes the issue that it's like where do I go what what do I do you know how can I go forward like sometimes I would have the skin on its own layer and the clothes on its own layer and the hair on its own layer and you know details on its own layer yada 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 this time i have the i do have like the hair on a different layer but uh the skin and the clothes they are on the same layer so i just went and cut down a lot of like bullshit just like you know as much as like as comfortable as i could be with cutting down the layer amount I did just that which is great like the these two kids they are all on the same layer like 
everything, the clothes, the skin, you know, the hair, both characters. Normally I would like, if I was drawing something this big, I would have like all the little things on different layers and it would be really really annoying because I don't actually like it. Uh, I like painting because you can like paint over and just kind of work with the whole thing at once. That's the great thing about painting. But yet I go into this drawing trap whenever I'm doing something bigger. So this time I actually went and shook, uh, shoot, shoot down the amount of layers I was working with and it helped me a ton and while drawing this picture uh, another thing that's new is I actually felt really excited after a long long time like you know when you're like a kid on Christmas and you're just like super excited yeah that's what it used to feel while I was drawing but I just kind of lost that feeling over the years and this is kind of like I didn't even notice I had lost it till I felt it again I'm just like wow this isn't feeling I've I haven't felt this way for years like what is going on and um, I felt it with this work usually the feeling is something that lasts for the whole work and it's like it makes me so excited it makes my like hands shake and I actually have to like stop drawing because I just can't uh, but for this one, the rush kind of came and then went away, and um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I did feel the rush, it was great, and uh, yeah, I think it's because, well, the work is still not the best. Uh, I really like the way that the girl that you are seeing right now on the screen, I really like the way she turned out, but there's still... Uh, things that are hard to balance for me like some of the colors aren't I guess most perfect combination that they don't really uh, now I'm just ripping onto my own artwork oh great I avoid doing that because you know if you point out your own mistakes people will start to notice those mistakes and you know it, it's kind of like having a sign that like, oh, everything I do is bad, and these are the things that I do badly, and then people will only see the bad things. But, but, uh, everything doesn't always turn out perfect. I'm very happy with how the girl turned out, but I had a little bit trouble balancing everything in this work with, you know, everything that was going on here, because there's a lot of little things. So, of course, it's gonna be a little bit you know troublesome I did the best I could and I think I did pretty well and one thing I do know is that I'm excited to draw something new because I think I can do even better so I'm I've been feeling very positive about my art despite the fact that it's not always um, the the best you know but it's still it's still very pretty good you know, I, anything to get out of that fucking rut with where I just couldn't finish anything, uh, this is, you know, great. This is luxury for me. So, yeah, I was feeling excited while drawing. Uh, I was able to cut down the layer amount, you know, despite the fact that this work itself uh, didn't turn out like totally the way I imagined and I had a little bit trouble, you know, with various stuff the fact that I was able to overcome them and uh, find a solution and discover things that I had lost or the things I didn't even knew existed you know that's the creative thing you know it's like this work was a pretty big stepping stone for me so you know I guess that's the best reward and I hope the cat doesn't start yelling because Jesus Christ, that's really gonna cut off my train of thought. Uh, another thing, by the way, <laughs> which is a little something I'm gonna talk fast because the video is uh, by the end end of its journey starting to get not yet, but you know, over half, over halfway there. But I actually got a message on DeviantArt by someone saying that 
uh, they basically came and said that, oh, you know, your art work is so good and your coloring is wonderful and it's like, my work is like goals, it's like, your art is seriously goals, and I was just like, wow, really? This is like, so flattered, I was just like, oh my god, someone said my art is like goals, it's just so weird because in my head, of course, I knew that to someone, my work is probably great. And if I think of myself, like when I started out, like if I were to show to my past self the work I do now, like my past self would like not believe it. Like my past self would be like, there's no way you could ever be that good. So I've, I would be hella impressed if I was my past self. <laughs> but uh but yet while i realized that i just kind of never took it as something that was like me because ultimately i'm just kind of like a nobody i'm just here in my own little bubble doing my own little thing i don't really reach out and i'm not really seen by anybody either so i'm just kind of like you know the people that really inspire other people are the people who are seen by the masses you know if you have a lot of people seeing your work you're gonna inspire a lot of people but since i'm just here being little me that i am you know nobody's gonna notice me and it, it felt super amazing when someone actually you know came and said that oh you know your art is super goal worthy because it's like wow like <laughs> How, how would I describe it? You have people telling you, like, I have people telling me at least. I don't know about you, but, you know, for me. <laughs> you know, people say that my artwork is nice or amazing or, you know, it's wonderful all the time. But it's so much different to have someone say that your artwork is great. And then have someone say to you that essentially that, you know, your art inspires them or that they actually want to like become like you that's like on a totally different level and it felt so good i'm just like i never like because i sort of detached myself from art community in a way because in the past i used to be super obsessed with like you know popularity social media you know trying to reach with my art and I had like these time limits like I would have to achieve things now or I was running out of time uh, I was super self-conscious and you know it's nothing but a world of hurt if you go down to the root so I just kind of learned to do the opposite thing like not care but I guess the problem with that was that I just kind of end up ended up going to two opposite. You know, I kind of lost the sense of uh, like I just didn't feel like I was deserving of anything. I was just like, oh, you know, I'm just me. You know, I'm I'm not worthy of being anyone's inspiration or you know whatever. I'm just, I'm just here. I don't know. Now, of course, you know, if I was drawing something good and. I posted it and no one saw it. Of course, it did sting. I, it still does. I mean, I think that's normal. If you create something with your heart and soul in it and you want other people to see it and nobody does, you know, it does hurt. But in those cases, I would just kind of try to slap myself out of it. I just keep cracking my knuckles. I'm so sorry about that. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But uh, <laughs> I would... Like, um, I would essentially uh, try to snap out of it by, you know, getting back to drawing as quickly as I can. You know, if I was feeling like, oh my god, you know, my art didn't get to see, like, it wasn't seen by anybody. You know, I was feeling sad about it. I'm just like, oh, you know, great. I was just like, you know, what I tried to do is that, you know what, get back to drawing fast now right away like you have to do something play a game watch anime don't even think about it just kind of like pretend it's not even there and in a way it's great but you know in a way it was also a little bit sad i guess so you know hearing someone actually say that you know your art is 
Goldworthy really meant a lot to me and I'm still very grateful about it. But you know, that's about it. The picture is almost ready. Uh, I hope you liked it and uh, bye bye!